And three. Uh, three. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Love Crossing Borders. My name is Andre. My name is Andre. And we are Love, Love Crossing Borders. Borders. We just want to say we appreciate the fact, appreciate, appreciate the fact, appreciate the fact that you know what's so funny, guys. You would think that we would not have bloopers after all oh these my years. God. Yes. Remember the first blooper we had? You were like, I like it. And I, I was like, okay, we're gonna keep on going. And so we've been doing bloopers since episode one, and it's just gonna continue to happen. We love y'all though. Yeah, especially uh when we go in live, it's just yeah, it's, that's why it's called live. All right, guys, we just want to talk about a topic tonight, which is very important. Why is it that men, oh, let me cut this one down. Why is it that men and women are missing in the United States as well as other countries? We're going to talk about why they're missing. There are 10 reasons why people are getting their passports and traveling or relocating to other countries. And they're missing in their own neighborhoods or in their own cities. We're going to talk about that tonight. But before we get started, before Andre gives the shout out, we want to say thank you to all of you that came down or watched our videos on the Petronio Alvarez Afro-Colombian Festival. It was amazing. It was so much fun. It was great to meet some of you guys. Shout out to Flyboy Way. Shout out to all the YouTubers that made it down. And we had such a wonderful, it was a good time. It was an excellent. It was an excellent time. It was good food. Good food. Uh, good concerts. It was really uh, full. Full. Expecting a lot of people this year, but yeah, it was totally full. Last year was because yeah. it was the one right after uh, uh, the pandemic. The pandemic. Exactly. But this it year, here, it was killing. Like Andrea said. <laughs> It was it was off the chain. And yeah. there were so many brothers and sisters down here. They created like two or three WhatsApp groups just so everybody can keep up with each other throughout hanging out in the city. And that's another thing that was so good to see. Not only people celebrating Afro-Colombian celebrations and actually enjoying the music and the good times, but also like we always do enjoying the food. Enjoy the food, the drinks. We still got drinks, of course. In yes, our, we do. Oh, I'm about to grab some. Those, yeah, so you tell to show about. you guys yeah. uh, the drinks that we have, of course, are typical uh, liquor that they is homemade uh, from the Pacific Coast, of course. It tastes delicious, of course. And it's obviously, <laughs> I'm bringing them all to um, show you guys what we have here. This is a uh, biche curao. There's so many ingredients, of course, but it's this one. This is really strong. That's a it's strong. really strong. And obviously, uh, uh, people, the uh, black people, they say that all these type of liquors, uh, they're really helping for fertility, for um, um, how do you say, babe? You got your heart, blood, high blood pressure, yeah, or your pulse, just this, this your peace. muscles, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys to be, you know, liquor. on top. Uh, yeah, we got wait a second. Okay, there we go. There's wait another one. This is a rechon too. This this is delicious. So I, before the, the, we start to drinking this, we going to put it in the fridge because it tastes better in the fridge. This is a rechon. You know, a re, Okay, wait a second. <laughs> in Colombia, a recho means... Can I say it? Horny? Say it. Go ahead, okay, say it, girl. I was, I was horny. So, obviously... You okay. are you you understand what I mean with this drink because that's what all these drinks are for. Yeah, amazing. They say for yeah, uh, for sexual potential. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I yeah, didn't know they was on the. I didn't, see, I didn't even know all right. that was on the label for all your sex life, for your horniness and your freakiness. This drink this. This, this drinks. Okay, wait a second. We Here got go. Tomaseca. I like. Oh, I like this one too. Yeah, that was good. And it's a fertility, uh, prostata, um, all of that. You and know, all medicine. this was, was sold at the festival. Exactly. <clears throat> and this is crema de biche, too. This is another one. That was good. That it's one good. tastes good. like eggnog. So if you guys ever had some strong eggnog, that's what that one tastes like in the state and, of Christmas. Yes, yeah, you guys. So, yeah, they got liquor and everything. And it's homemade, obviously. It's like a... I would say it was artesano drink. I don't know how to say in English, my bad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, very nice, of course. So, some of them, they're, they're really strong in the when you taste it. But it's, it's really good to have some 
this type of things from Petronio Alvarez. Or you can you can have that. You can get it in any um, Pacific restaurant here in Cali yes. or a person that they can they can do it this too. Another thing, people have been in in Petronio. You know that uh, the interest is free, right? It's free to come. But the thing is, you spend money on liquor because you can you can't uh, take any bottle of water with you or any uh, food with you because right, the idea is that you spend money over there mm-hmm. on food and drinks and clothes and souvenirs, whatever you want. So people have been when I heard it has been they have been complaining about the prices because this this one in another I don't know in another uh, outside of Petro- Petronio. Yeah. It's twenty thousand pesos. Uh, in my time, remember, yeah, I've been in Petronio. In year. your time, she's in been there a hundred time, times. This one, it was fifteen thousand pesos. Wow! And every of these, each, each uh, of these um bottles cost thirty thousand pesos. So obviously, and, and people don't understand. I mean, everything in Colombia is getting increased. All the 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 meal, the part of meal where they prepare uh, these drinks. Is super expensive. Even the the, the clean meal is mm-hmm. expensive too. So all the all the ingredients are going expensive. Of course, mm-hmm. obviously. So obviously, you need to spend money. So I don't see the point of people who's complaining. This is too expensive. I mean, Petroni just one time, once uh, a year. year. Yeah, it's good. You we don't get this in in, in any a liquor store. No. So yeah. So it's it's very nice that we got this, of course. And nothing that I'm going to make sure, guys. That okay. Other names that they got this, all these drinks is you're gonna love in about this. Uh, they call the seven. I don't know how. Go ahead. Say no, it. no, I can't say it. I can't. Can I say it? You say it, Mama. Are you sure? Say it. Fox. The seven Fox? fucks. Yeah. <laughs> seven. The seven fucks. Another one is uh, Coast. Get rid of the G string. Oh, get rid of the G. That's what it is. Get rid of the G string. No, no. When you when you. Pull a G string. Yeah, that's an. It's so funny the name that they put. The name of the liquor is what yeah. they call it. The uh, the the slangs. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, because this is uh for especially for guys. That's that, what they're for. They're for and, yeah. and it's a it's almost like a Viagra. Exactly. In a liquor form. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It is, and you better believe. <laughs> yeah, and you can only get it here. In Colombia, in the Pacific Coast, is their own liquor. It, it is amazing. It's amazing to see brothers and sisters that take their, you know, history of making this liquor, and they made it into bottles where it's legal for them to sell it. And so, yeah. for example, this one I heard uh, um, a, a, non, a, a video. It was a voicemail they create. They create um, when you say voicemails on mm-hmm. Instagram. And the girls say we were so ready, you know, to be, you know, they're in the room and everything. And he and he uh, bring one of these, bicha curado. He wants to kill me. I just put my clothes on and I left because they say we already know that bicha curado is really strong. And I taste over there is really strong. So yeah. Anytime the women put their clothes on and said, "I'm not about to do this," no, they because put of liquor and everything. It's so yeah. So yeah, we're gonna taste this uh, this weekend, of course. And yeah, you guys, that was all right. The Petronio, of course. Some of you guys you were like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy to see some of you the, guys come down black. here for the first time. Oh my God, the Cali curves, they're real. The women are so beautiful. Look at their I bodies. Told I told you. Yeah, yeah, it, it was just so funny. You don't know where you look because everything is gorgeous. I, I told you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys had some fun down here. It was great to see as much. Oh my God. That we, we enjoyed watching you guys have fun uh, coming down here to Cali. And then we went out clubbing, and we just we just enjoyed uh, the whole weekend. Some of us actually went out, me, Fresh, and a, a, a J-Rock, who's in, the, who's in the chat right now. Mm-hmm. Shout out to him. We, and, and, and Travon, uh, we all went out clubbing last night. What was it, last night? It was... Monday night. No, Monday night. And we were thinking like, there's nothing going to be open. And the club was pop because it was a holiday. And the club was popping. So, yeah. But right now, we're going to let Andrea give her, her shout-outs to yeah. you guys. Shout-out for the people who started coming to the live stream. 
Ransom, thank you so much because traditional men are invisible here. He said about the 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 live stream. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. A shame and no wanted. Wow. Wow. Raw paper, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Sad but truly. Gail Nelson said yes. Uh, ready for another great talk. You kill it on the panel with uh, kosher clean. Clinician. Clinician. Okay. Thank you. I just got on the phone with closure. <laughs> I just got the phone with him. Shout out to Coach Clinician. Uh, Jorge Cruz say, uh, traditional men here are in frustrated. Oh, frustrated. Wow. Frustrated. Uh, he's like six. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Jackson Jeter say, uh, guess who stepped JG. in that room? Kaboom. <laughs> Thank you, Felicia, for coming to the live stream. Live stream queen. Thank you, Felicia. Yeah, Trevon is here. We just Trevon and I were just uh just having some drinks, hanging out with some brothers that we met uh that are still here. You know, that a lot of people are coming down here to Cali and they're still down here hanging out even longer. So shout out to all you guys and shout out to my man. Chapa Five TV, wait a second. Yeah, oh boy, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of YouTubers upset with this one. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Andre don't even care. I don't. Andre, I, me, me and Andre don't. We don't. Andre, we don't really yeah, care. we don't care. And like I say, I love the show. Where uh, do I go to get your list uh, on online? On on, on like sorry. email me, oh Felicia. God. Do me a favor, uh, guys. We have a list of over three hundred online job opportunities. I am going to be even updating it this week. But the one that I have. Right now, I mean, literally 300 job of uh, 300 companies actually that hire year round. This is the mistake that you don't want to do with the list of 300. You don't want to sit back and make the mistake and say, well, I don't qualify for the $30 an hour job and you refuse to take the $15 an hour job. Why is that? Don't get caught up because you're from California. $15 an hour is nothing in California. Your goal is not to live in California. Your California, your goal is to live in Colombia. Your $15 an hour has the buying power of $90 in, I mean, wait a minute, $60 an hour. Once again, if you make $15 an hour online and you're living in Colombia, the buying power is $60 an hour. That gives you enough time to go for whatever you want to go for to get your $30 or $40 an hour job. So don't get don't get perturbed if you see the $30 an hour jobs on this list that you don't qualify for. Apply for the ones that are 15 because the 15, once you come to Colombia, has a lot of power as well. And so uh, Felicia is going to put the list in. Mm -hmm. I know that she put that in for you guys to to email me and I'll send that list out to you. There's a bunch of people I'm going to be sending that list out to as well tonight. Flyboy is here. <laughs> Shout out to Flyboy way in the building. We had a good time this weekend. I'm glad that you enjoyed Cali, Columbia, man. It was it was great to see you just getting off the plane and me and me and uh Chiz got a chance to meet you and, and, and just pick you up from the airport, man. That was great. And then the whole weekend of adventure. Okay, let's say how is aguardiente? Does it say does it taste like vodka or tequila? It tastes like in all sincerity, it tastes like licorice. Mm. It takes to Americans, it tastes like licorice. That's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, and every Bruce, city has go ahead, baby. No, no, no. Bruce uh, Rain is here too. Shout out to Bruce. Every city, or well, not every city, there are two agua major cities that make aguardiente. Correct me if I'm wrong. Medellin has their Aguadente, which most people know about. And then Cali has one as well that's that's different as well. And in um, Popayan, they got another oh, one. They? Aguardiente Caucano, yes. Wow, I didn't yes, know that. Yes. So yeah, we got Aguardiente. Even Aguardiente used for, they use Aguardiente too for clean your energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Buenas noches, Andre and Andrea. Hello, crossing borders, please. Buenas. The <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to to his channel as well. It travels. Thanks for the great info and show you the brothers love. I will be Cali next month. Oh yeah, let me know Ed. 
What what? When he gets here. Okay. Byron is here. Scott, we are uh we are being training right in the States. The missing man, the missing man. J Rock say que tal Andre and Andre. I mean, you guys was a blessing learning a lot for you, Dre. This is my, my last night in Cali, but I'm definitely coming back, J Rock. We had a good time the other night, Jay. It was me, you, Flyboy, Trevon, <clears throat> all of us, uh, Chiz. We all hung out, had a good time drinking and dancing. It was a whole whole good evening, uh, just meeting people, hanging out. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Teddy, for your donation. Thanks, Ted. Volcanus. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your donation. We take that super <laughs> chat. Love this. Just for the love. Uh, Ray Ray, thank you for your donation, too. Just for the love, we appreciate that. Gail, say, have you two traveled uh, to Guyana? No, we haven't. Where is that? We are la, la Guyana, Guyana. I'm sorry, I mis, um, mispronounced this. Guyana Francesa is here in South America, but it's part to I think, in Europe. Okay, okay, yeah, it's here, but it's not part to part of South America. No, it's not a Latin country. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you so much. I think I read this one. No, no thank no. you so much for your donation. Thank you both for all you do. I will be in Cali next month. I love Colombia and I can't wait to visit again. Peace and love you guys. All right, shout out to Ed. Ed, hit me up when you get when you get back on your way back here. Okay. Um you okay, shout out fly boy. Uh man, he had bad Afro Latina in his live stream. Yeah. yeah. What happened? No, 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 no. It was good. It had a bad, bad means good in the States. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Okay. I want to say Austin Holman, I think, brought me here. Austin Holman, mm -hmm. okay. I love, uh, I love that wisdom that you share on that huge panel with uh, AMS. I don't know how to AMS. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. In, the uh, other day, you guys had him on the hot seat. <laughs> Good looking out, brother. The Juan, thank you so much for your donation. God bless you, Andre, for the information that you provide us. Alison is here. Hello from Canada. I love the show. Uh, can we order you drink from outside? I don't think <laughs> uh, so because of the border regulation, I think. Yeah. I know, right? You can't. And then you can only get them here. You can't even get these in Cali. I mean, in, in, in uh, 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 Medi can you get them in Medellin? Only if uh, the, the, I think, yeah, Medellin is next to Choco. So I think, yes, but in several stores or restaurant, stores. Pacific, Pacific restaurant with the sell seafood. Yes. Yes. Probably. Pacific Coast is known for their seafoods. And so in their restaurants, like a lot of them here, they'll have these alcohols when you're walking out the door. So if you want the bottle that you don't have at home or you've never had any, you can take these bottles out. I'm, I'm talking about, they gonna get you. They gonna get you, but they gonna get you right. They don't have you strong. I'm telling you, man. You can break ice. Yeah, you can break some ice. <laughs> well, man, thank you so much for being here. Hello, I know the footage you guys took on the of the Petronio Alvarez. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we got a question here. Do you know all of a website for long term apartment rentals in Cali? Yes. Email me. I got I got the link. Okay. Okay, that's uh, all the shout outs for tonight. All right, so let's talk about the topic at hand. Missing men and women in your home country, especially in the United States. Uh, statistically, there are over 100,000 people that have actually either filed for or to renew their passports in the United States. The most amount of individuals that have applied for their passports in U.S history there's never been this many people that are applying for passports at a particular time number of those they had over five thousand to six thousand people just this past year apply for to relinquish their citizenship 
They were like, I'm done with the United States. And I can understand most of these people, about 70 to 80 percent of these people had been living out the United States for like 20, 25 years. They had not paid taxes. And, and most of their complaints were, why do I have to still pay taxes if I haven't set foot in the United States in 25 years? So most of them are like, you know what? I give up my citizenship. And in order to give up your citizenship in the United States, wow. you not only have to pay us a fee to, to, to give it up, you have had to make sure that you file taxes for five years before you give it up. And if you owe back, back debts, so if you still owe child support, you can't file to get rid of you your citizenship. A, a, a clean record. You got to have a clean record. If you owe wow. college debt, you can't file for to get rid of your so, U.S. citizenship. Uh, if you still owe uh, uh, back taxes, you know, a lot of people still owe back taxes, uh, which is, you know, understandable. You would have to pay those taxes back in order to relinquish your citizenship. So funny that a lot of people just fight for that shit, citizenship. A lot of people that I know, they have been re they have been living as a resident in the States for years. I'm not saying five, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say a lot, uh, about 30 years. Mm -hmm. And they just got the citizenship in the States. So it's, it's wow. Yeah. And so we're going to talk about, uh, yes, yeah, crazy. We're going to talk about some of the reasons why there are men and women that are missing in the United States because they want to travel and find different locations to live around the world. Most of you don't know that the average U.S. citizen that makes between thirty-five and forty thousand a year, you are in the one percent of the world. I'm going to say that again. If you make thirty-five to $40,000 a year in the United States based on cost of living. And even if every store was the exact same stores that you have in the United States where you shop and it was in another country, you would still be a part of the one percenters around the world. A lot of times they don't want us to know how powerful our money is in the United States uh, once we leave because the only place that you never get a chance to see it be powerful is why you're still in the United States. Go ahead, babe. Number one reason. Number one, online jobs opportunities. All right. A lot of people are leaving the United States or a lot of men are missing in the United States because of online job and opportunities. A lot of individuals are saying, listen, let me put myself in a position to where I can get a job online. And once I get my online job, I am out of here. My boy T.A. around the corner. A lot of you ex-military guys. A lot of you guys own businesses online. And you're like, why should I do this in the United States where I'm making $200,000 a year, but I, I have my overhead is $75,000? And that's after taxes. So a lot of guys are coming down here to South America, and they're like, I don't have to pay those costs and I can still make $200,000 a year with my business or have an online job because now many in individuals of IT or you into coding or your digital marketing, such as YouTube and, and TikTok and Twitch, you're making money doing those things or Instagram. A lot of people, because they're digital marketing, they're like, why should I stay in the United States? I made $100,000 as a YouTuber last year. But it cost me $70,000 to live in the United States. If I take my channel and I go to Colombia or Panama or Brazil or DR, I can actually save and live off of $30,000, $10,000 a year and still make my, my $100,000 and live off of $10,000. That's $90,000. I could buy property next year. So a lot of people are doing online. Okay, you moved it, therefore. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we're going to the shout out after this one. Hello, Javier. Thank you so much for being here. Javier Diaz. With the smooth glasses. <laughs> Tangon, thank you for your donation. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's Troy. Yeah, okay. Mr. Smooth Teeth. 
smoothie. Uh, the one said, well, I make about $30,000 a year. That goes a long way here. Andre and Andre, thank you so much for being here, your mom. In the building. Thank you, Eric, for your donation. Say, Dre, the soap of America is dead. Uh, it's became mm. a glorified work camp now. Camp now. Uh, there is nothing to fight for and nothing to live for. Uh, putting things in peace to live in five years. Wow. He said it's a glorified work camp. Like going to prison, like in China, when they put you in prison and they make you work. Or like in Alabama when they make you work while you're in prison. Ooh, good statement. Detroit, stand up. Thank you, Bob. Bob Detroit in the building. 313, baby. The bad boys. Doesn't con condos. Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> in Colombia, it costs about $35,000. Uh, Depending on the city. Depends on the city. Depends the condo that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But it's more expensive. Yep. But there there are some that you can actually, some really good ones. That you actually, with that money, you can get a piece of land or you can have uh, get a house and rebuild it again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can also right. buy, yeah, you get a nice piece of land for $30,000. Yeah. A fink up is a land or, or a small house. In a finca or something, you start to rebuilding. Finca is like a the farm, farm. area, but farm, it's it's bad. really it's nice. It's nice. Chada, okay, Chad, the great say, Andre, what's your email address? Uh, again, I want to, the list of uh, available online online jobs. Um, yeah, Felicia, let me let me put it here right now. Okay, let me let me go to the banner. That's the email. Yeah, the, same, the email. Yeah, same one that Felicia posted a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Felicia. And email me again at the email address. Tonight, I'm going to be responding in tonight. I'm going to be looking at because sometimes, guys, we got so many emails. So many. Like, on A. Spence, Andre and Andre Info, Andre Wallis TV. Mostly Money TV. <laughs> So it, it, I always keep it all Dre Bay. We receive the team in Bay. We receive the, because I know, I know yeah. sometimes. So sometimes it'll be a day or two and that you may think I've forgotten about you, but I have it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I always say on this particular day, like when I get relaxed and chill and I'll just sit back and I'll uh, go ahead and I'll just respond. I'll respond. I'll respond. So it's about a good 40 emails that I'm going to be responding to tonight. Yeah. Uh, Island boy, DJ Chisel. She is in the building, man. Cheers, good people. That's my dude right good there. People, he good people. <laughs> Hello, I say people. People, yeah. Chris is here. I plan on visiting Medellin in October for a week. That's good. Oh man, that's I'll what's up. Medellin and don't use Tinder, please. We said. Said again. Do not use Tinder for the love of God. Not in Medellin. Not in, not in Medellin. Not in Medellin. You can use it here in Cali or Bogota or in other cities, but please do not use Tinder or dating or not any dating apps in Medellin. Yes. Yeah. You asked me for it then. Yeah. Uh, this is Troy. Women are completely messed too. <laughs> what? Well, not the 313 ladies. Not my home girls. Sometimes when I, when, when uh, my friend tells me, and I respond like this, uh -huh. Andre, why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like a feminine woman? What, 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 what is that? It would be so, you know, even in Espanol, I did the same thing. <laughs> wow. I cut, shove a uh, word. Oh, oh, you yeah. chopped the words up. Yeah. You You've been around I'm us too long. <laughs> That's what that is. Yeah. America is a big corporation with, uh, with each state. In the union beginning, uh, in in definitely run company, and take advantage of it. Admit to yourself that you live in a corporate country and take advantage of it. Stop trying to change it from what it is. It's a place where you're supposed to make your money. White people ain't got no problem with it. People from other countries don't have any problem with going to America and making money. Other people don't have any problem making money. Asians and and people from India don't have a problem with going to America and treating it for what it is, a corporate country. 
Only we people of color are still complaining America should be this and America should be that. No, America should be where you make your money and you get out of America like everybody else is doing. Yeah, and that is your passport too, because yeah, of course, with your yeah, passport. The United States passport is is a really good. Uh, you strong. got a lot it's of benefits. Strong. Yeah. It's strong. Yeah, you don't have visas for the big countries. Yeah, for most of the countries. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's one of the things that the advantage of the United States, at least the passport. Uh, El Rey. Oh, yeah, say it right. You building? took couple of the year. Thank you so we much. We take that. Coming. We will take that. Oh, okay. I would say list on the B okay BMT website. True. From the news page. Thanks for letting us know. So if you even go to B, if you're in a BMT group, the Black Man's Travel Group, it is on the website as well that you'll be able to see that. Absolutely correct. Say sir, say working on my exit plan by becoming uh, a Salesforce admin, looking uh, for a remote position and learning the Python. Okay, so my bad. Coding the language. The Python. Language. Thank mm -hmm. you, babe. And uh, deep in all of the states. All right. Should I say uh, he and lying ladies in the, in the deep? <laughs> it's that bad in Detroit. Is it that bad? Javier say I uh, just sold the car tonight. Counting down the days. Oh Javier. man, I remember I sold my car. I remember that. All right, bye bye car. That name is yeah. like, you know, Javier, uh, not him, but ha when I was in high school, I got a crush on a dude called Javier. Well, tell Remember us the Javier? crush story. It was a professor. <laughs> That's a fun oh, no, no, that no, I say like. That, say that to them. That Don't like say that to older, me. Older guys. Uh, no, is it? Yeah, you can ask you if we got a reunion in wow. high school. Say, Andrea always got a crush on the professor Javier, and he was the teacher. <laughs> The English teacher. So that's how you <laughs> knew that that I like oh that you like older dudes. Yeah. Javier. Shout out to Javier. Thank Javier, you very much, Javier. One day he see me. Oh, she's speaking English. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Javier. That like got me got my my memory. Javier. Okay. Um what a second. That one no, second. Javier. Best amount seems to disagree with you. About getting out of America. <laughs> ah, the YouTuber that, that the video that you showed me today. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Andre kind of like looked at the video. One thing that we don't do is to cater to negative energy that's put out there. No. One of the reasons why why uh people call me is because they're like, Andre, they got a video on you like this. A video is like, dude, we have been doing this for five years. Together in all of our channels, we have over 115, 120,000 subscribers. For us to sit back and cater to people with four or 5,000 subscribers, it's uncalled for. The yeah. other thing, Kevin Samuels, he, when he passed on, there were people that were of the real mainstream entertainment that had beef with him. People that were part of television channels and things like that, that would come after Kevin. And he never moved. Yeah. He continued to be who he was until the day that he died. And Kevin never died with any negative energy or beefing towards anybody, even though he felt bad about what they were saying. So we never feed off into those people. Let them say what they were going to say. Exactly. We always, and I'm really surprised. We're always going to have haters. And I don't hate haters. I, I, seriously, I truly I don't hate haters because haters put you on the map. So They do. Hey, Thank you. Put you on the map. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like tripping of that. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, that one's okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is uh, this is another one. Don't chase hosts, chase pesos. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Leo say Turkish guy told me that he's making his money in the U.S. and retiring in his country. I'm not mad. Yeah, a lot of people from other countries have families back. I think people in the United States fail to realize that a lot of people come to the United States, treat it as a corporate country, and they go back home. Exactly. Exactly. That, that's, the, that's the thing. That's one of the things here, you guys. Um, they got the opportunity because another thing, like you, uh, Lowe's, um, the guy that living living, not just for vacation, living here or living in, in South America or Mexico, 
I think the opportunity is so great when you can have a better life, more calm, more better lifestyle, but still making your U.S. dollars because I, there's something that I'm never going to uh, put shame on it. I mean, mm-hmm. the dollar is, I mean, seriously, here is the king of the king. So seriously, you can't complain about that. I mean, may, it's still making you dollars and live in a country when you can have a better lifestyle, a better um, medical service, you know, that you feel loved and, and um, comfortable, you know. But I feel that like you guys, you guys got the the courage to retire yeah. in this in these countries. And Andre, Andre and I still get people to look at us strange, like, and you guys live here? Like, when we went and got our, our eye exam, remember the doctor was mm. like, Oh my God, you guys, that was so, I should record, record him because he told me, I thought, sorry, but I thought that he was an NBA basketball or something or player. And oh yes, I, I started to translate the appointment and he said, but uh, where's his friend? He said, Tampa. And you stay for how long? I think he's like a lady gossip saying, no, we live here. And he just looking at me also probably like, you, you guys live here? I say, yeah, we live here. And he said, but but how you how he changed Florida with with Colombia? What that's not making any sense. I said, I mean, at least in, in in that country, you don't have the fear that somebody's going to shoot you or something. In Colombia, the last thing that can happen to you is you talking with your cell phone and someone grab your cell phone or give me your that's money. The worst. That's yeah. the worst thing that can happen to you. But yeah, he said, oh, that, that's right. I said, yeah, I mean, if you give, and I told him, if you put papaya out there, obviously you're going to get, get robbed and you're Colombian. So, yeah. Like I was talking to one guy that I met today, me and Trevon met, mm-hmm. and he was saying how he got robbed here in Cali. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you got robbed here in Cali? And he was like, yeah, I got robbed. They took, they took my, uh, I was at a restaurant and they took all my computers. They took my, my phone and everything. But that was 10 years ago. I was oh, like, well, that okay. was 10 years ago, man. I said, that's when everything was going on in the country or starting to slow down. I say, so I can understand where you're coming mm-hmm. from. Okay. Theo, uh, he say the pessimist can go, can go blow Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't feed off into, you know. Yeah, we, I, I yeah. even pray for this family to not have any bad energy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay, job John Gibson say uh, with any luck, I hope to count um has one of the missing okay of the one missing, of the missing yeah, thank you. <laughs> Last thing in Brazil or Colombia, Colombia would double oh. I plan to visit in March and make move in 2024. That's what's up, when guys. I, hit 30. I know, yeah. You'll be oh yeah, 20, you'll be 30. All right, oh, grandma. My. I'm just saying. You act like you're gonna be like your grandmama's age at 30. You just starting life. And I'll be like this. I can never have a man like you. Oh uh, Jorge Cruz say thank you, Jorge, for your donation. He said, I'm 33, the vote Christian man. I'm very mm-hmm. traditional and successful. I don't trust American Christian woman either. Can you comment on how per, uh, protest the prostate thing uh, woman? Are in Colombia. I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm Christian, just like you are Protestant. Andre is Catholic. There are the only reason you guys don't see me go to church every Sunday, which I need to start doing, is because the language. But I shouldn't let that stop me. There are a lot of Christian churches. They play Christian music on Sunday, worship music, just like in the States. Just so do not think you're going to come to Colombia and you have to become Catholic. No, there is a lot no. of missionary. I see missionaries down here all the yeah. time, and so yeah. you they got mega churches down here also. So don't think that in Col- that Colombia doesn't have really nice churches or places of worship yeah. if you are a Protestant and you're not Catholic. There are other places that you can go through throughout the cities mm-hmm. to worship and enjoy your, your Christianity as well. Make this uh, responding to you here in Colombia. Uh, the Christian Colombians women are very how to say, it, but they're very strict with the with their religion. Yes. I mean, seriously, they don't depends the, the the church. But what I see 
uh, they don't go parties or they don't drink too much. They are very uh, serious with their religion and everything. I say this because a uh, few of my family members, they are Christian, mm -hmm. but they like to drink once in a while and everything to share with the people, but they have the beliefs too. Like, for uh, for example, some Christian, they don't celebrate Christmas, they don't celebrate Easter week here in Colombia. Uh, they don't celebrate, obviously, Halloween, mm -hmm. uh, nothing. Uh, Catholic, is that right? Cat Catholicism. <laughs> Well, in my religion, we celebrate all of that. So, yeah, we got so many Christian churches, especially in this area. We got mm -hmm. a big Christian mm -hmm. church, but I'm I'm very uh, more to my religion, uh, Catholic or Catholica. But yeah, there's no any problem to find really good women here, uh, Christian women. No, even yeah. even though that they prefer Christian women, they prefer 100% to get married or to find. A boyfriend or a partner or a future husband in the Christian church. True. Outside of that, because they say outside is the is the word is is so many guys that they don't understand my religion, so they prefer to find um, uh, their men in the church in the true. same religion. Yeah. True, so true, one hundred percent. Good question. That was one of the best questions we've gotten. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. We're gonna hear. Uh, I'm going to start uh, respond this one, and we uh, continue with the topic. Okay. Uh, so just say, what is the best uh, source to find the digital remote work? Well, the best source. What, what is the best source to find digital remote work? Usually, it's online, such as Indeed.com. Monster.com has international. Uh, notice I say international international online job opportunities there are also if you google international job opportunities they are out there it will amaze you how many well, i need to do a video just on our on our list of jobs okay, because there are companies that. that you guys would not even imagine have online job opportunities companies that you didn't even think about i never thought about that for example u-haul we're so used to going to u-haul and renting a truck a lot of people don't realize U-Haul has international customer service. They'll hire anybody to do customer service from around the world mm -hmm. and give you that. And, and you get paid U.S. dollars. But a lot of guys don't and ladies don't know. that. I didn't know that. So a lot of opportunities are out there. Amazon is, is hiring not only in the United States, but it's growing here in, in Colombia and they're hiring as well. Mm -hmm. So realize there are a lot of companies that are out there hiring for sales customer service for people to do uh, everything from transcripts. If you're a person that likes to type and you're good, you can do transcripts. IT, if you're a person that's into computers and, 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 and doing those things, and they need IT service, that's available. Coding is one of the fastest growing. Well, I don't know anything about coding, good. Like I used to tell my college recruiters, I mean, college students, it's not your job to know about anything day one. It's your job from day one to start to learn everything. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's not your job to know everything day one. You can walk into coding and say, I don't know nothing about computers. I don't know nothing about coding. Good. So you don't have to start to unlearn you from stuff, meaning you can just start learning from day one how to do coding. And two years later, you're living in Colombia, living your life, getting paid well for doing coding, yes, something sir. that you couldn't even do before. Thank you, Dre. It has been a struggle to spend twenty dollars in the supermarket here. Is <laughs> he said I can't even spend twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is nothing. That's true. That's true. You get a, a lot for twenty bucks here in Colombia. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay, wait a second. Let me go through the comments. Kenny Ross is here. Another good one. Thank you, Dre and Andrea. I'm traditional man and want to be traditional man to a traditional woman. <clears throat> Content creators say in Cali, do they have different dogs breeders? What's dog breeders? Dog breeders? If you are a person that loves dogs, just Colombia in general, people that breed dogs that, that have, you know, I have a girl, you have a boy, and we put them together. You have a strong, I have a strong, uh, boy dog and ah. you have a strong girl dog and you want them to have strong kids and yeah. so there are people like in the states 
they will put their dogs. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is the country. They dogs are family. Yeah. You them dogs, you have them barking. We got a park with with the lemon tree park. It's right out here. And they they turn our park into a dog park. So much is the little ones. Yeah, the little dogs. All the the loudest ones. Yeah. So Colombians love dogs. But one thing I love about Colombian dogs. And I'm not a really a dog dog person. These are the most peaceful, loud dogs I have ever seen. Correct serious? me if I'm wrong, but you don't see too many people always talk like in the news. It's always somebody getting bit by a dog. Is always is it like that I here? in the states? Yes, I hear that. A but lot. what about here? Uh here not too much. Right. But in case in Colombia, that's another thing about Colombia. For example, my brother got a pit bull, mm-hmm. and he knows that the people do something to, to a, a, a kid, you know, because they're always attacking kids in the faces. Uh, you know that you're going to jail and they kill your dog because that's the law here in Colombia. If your dog or your beat your dog or your pet or, you know, you're going to jail. That give you prison in Colombia. If you uh, beat your dog with a stick or whatever, people recording you, people call the police, got proof that, hey, uh, you have you did some to the dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to jail. They take the dog and you're going to jail. And if your dog attack a person, uh, especially a pit bull, that you need to have insurance to have a pit bull. That's another thing. Well, I didn't know that. The, the, you you know, might want to repeat although, that. Those type of you dogs need to have insurance to have a pit you know? bull or aggressive um, dog. Exactly. And attack a kid or some or or a person. Obviously, you need to respond, pay the hospital, everything, and the, if the wow. person die. Obviously, you go into jail because you are the owner of the, of the dog, and the dog dies. That's the situation here in Colombia. Yeah. One of the dogs don't act mean, in the because the owners make them peaceful. Calm. Exactly. Here in the building that we are, uh, the the manager is very specific that we can't have any dogs like uh, like aggressive, a, aggressive but big dogs. Mm-hmm. You know, like like my mom's dog, golden retriever. Exactly. Like no Waldo. big dog, just. The smaller ones, you know, those little yeah. small dogs. Yes, that's true. Everybody here yeah, does have small avoid dogs. Those those situations here in the building where we live. Okay, uh, Kenny said I will be in Bogota in a month. Okay, oh, Kenny, good. Enjoy Bogota in the museum. Yes, yeah, we'll be there next month too. I know. I like Bogota for just visiting, <laughs> not living for real. Uh okay. Oh, wait a second. It's uh, well, it's not easy for everyone. He said, Ray, how is the you know you don't know Spanish? It's easy, man. It's not easy. It right? is it, you know what? I'll tell you what it is. When I'm not around Andrea, my Spanish, all the words all come uh, out. So you don't need to be around me. As soon as I get around Andrea and she starts speaking English, so it's like that I'm like uh, 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 it's like all my words just all of a sudden just get confused. So you going to your doctor appointment by yourself? Get your medicine by yourself? <laughs> prescription? I might, be, I might be able to do that. I might. Uh, I might. Now, now medicine and prescriptions? No, because you know there are words mm-hmm. that I wouldn't be. Able, but I'm talking about everyday conversations. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how all of a sudden everything just kick in. But then when I'm around you, it's like my brain gets lazy. Like okay, Andrea, right there. So. We're speaking English at home, so it's crazy. But I'm trying to get to the point where I can I can uh, apply Espanol uh, automatical. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Obvio. Obvio. <laughs> Obvio. <laughs> Black heaven say, does a Christian in Colombia have a okay all black church church? Church. Yes, they do. All black churches. Yes, yeah. they do. That the cat, the Holy Ghost yeah. and shot. No, no, no. I don't do. The, don't do that. It's different. It's it's more Afro or African worship music. Remember how our music used to be in the seventies, like with Mahalia yeah. Jackson. A lot of you guys went around for our old James Cleveland and that old gospel music. It's like that here in Colombia with the moaning. Mm-hmm. Jesus loves me so. And then you hear everybody else in the background go, mm-hmm. Jesus loves. It's like that. It's that old school mixed with Africa type of worship in church. Okay. 
Da Juan say, pin, my bad, uh, pin, is, I can't pronounce this word. It's a great language app to learn in Spanish or any language. Oh, Pimsleur. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to learn Portuguese. Yeah, I see, if I get Spanish, Spanish, she get Portuguese, and we both got English. And another thing, in Portu to get a Portugal citizen, you need to know Portuguese. Well, <laughs> my bad, baby. You need to learn so many languages. Mm. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you for your donation. Marshawn. Uh, that Marshawn? Mm -hmm. Well, the first time that I, that I know that you Marshawn. This is stopping true. Keep going. Uh, you think you all. <laughs> okay. Amen to you, Javier. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Marcus say, Marcus. <laughs> okay, you, got, you, know. you had to get that out. <laughs> he probably heard that joke a hundred times. Falling asleep. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll be serious. Being in Cali in October. Oh, that's good. That's what's up. <laughs> let us know when, what, what your dates are. Email me. Let us let us know what your dates are. Uh, like the or say, I'm learning Spanish and Portuguese, uh, getting a, a master degree in data science. Oh, wow. See, that's, that's how you do it. That's, that's good. how you do it. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, oh, that's going to pay off. Oh, my God. Okay, wait a second. You okay? You all uh, are a photogenic couple. You should have your own reality show. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so. That funny. would be funny. That would be funny because I'm a big kid, and Andrea is like super mysterious, and I don't care. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh my god. What's that, Andre? <laughs> That's Andrea. Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you imitating me? That's you. Me? That's you. You straight serious. Like, like I'll be up at at night and I'm editing videos. If it's too late, Andrea just yeah. she'll just watch. She won't even say anything. That's the part. She will just walk in the room and just give me that look. Like, so you're not coming to bed tonight? <laughs> and so I'm like, and she knows I'm editing, but she's like, I can't sleep, so you need to come to bed. And I'm like, it's another thing because the doctor told that you can't be asleep so late because your you blood true. pressure. My blood pressure, true. Exactly. So I can't. I'm used to being like Kevin, like Kevin Samuels, up around the clock, work, sleeping three hours a day. No, but Andrea and I really discovered oh. even before Kevin. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to focus on because I got have high blood pressure running in my family, and so I take the medications, I work out, and so now. Yeah, got to be the proper sleep as well as well as proper diet. Oh my God! This Sherry say Dre trying to say this one. If this word, uh, they say that is is is. Oh, you got jokes. Desafortunadamente, is infortunadamente. Infortunadamente. That's unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately, infortunadamente. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that surprised you that I got it, huh? Desafortunadamente. Yeah, he surprised. He like I think he was gonna be able to say it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got you. Okay. Uh, the Double page, A Triple C. Thank you so much for being here from Boston. Missing you guys. Man, I was thinking about you the other day, man. You need to come on back down, man. Uh, Marcus say, Love Cali is cheap. And I am, you guys, I can't believe. Were you really like that? Or you uh, write like that? Okay, he's going to email you. Love Cali is cheap. And <laughs> I'm going to email you. <laughs> or I'm going to email you. Okay, cool. Wait a second. We got to hear a donation that I have on my bed. I think I did it. Out in the building. Thank you so much for your donation. He said you express yourself like you can uh, on the AMS stream. Thank you, Thanks brother. for being uh, eloquent um, with your message. When I get out uh, there, I'll... I would tap with your bro, 100% uh, disabled uh, veteran and software engineer. It's mm. time for me to travel. Yeah. It's a lot of you guys that are reaching out to us for consultations because you're at that place of maybe being two or three or two to five years away from uh, from from a retirement. And so now you're like, you're reaching out to us, say, Andre, I need to do a consultation with you. And I want to start getting everything set up for when I come out there to actually live and so we do those consultations for 
for for Brazil as well as Colombia because a lot of the steps are the exactly the same in South America. So if you want to do a consultation, guys, make sure you email us. But also, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see that he has his career and his his, his goals are on track. And a lot of you guys are doing that. And when we were on, uh, one of the things that that keep us from having beef or getting into into arguments with other YouTube channels is our goal is to two parts is either to encourage you to find love, meaning somebody special for your life, mm -hmm. or or because some of you guys like being single, some of you ladies do too, fall in love with a country. In other words, have a home base and then all the other places you visit. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to help you find a home base or find somebody to fall in love with you can have a home with. Mm -hmm. So that's what our goal is. And it's, we don't have enough time to be arguing with other, other YouTubers on childishness. Okay. Thank you, Paul, for your donation. How is the air quality in Cali between Love the Channel? Oh, a lot better than uh, Medellin. Medellin. Ooh, Medellin, Medellin is like pollution Medellin. capital. Yeah. Remember the Medellin is in a hole. Yes, it's a valley. So yeah. all the pollution gets stuck flat. in between the clouds. Mm -hmm. So the clouds are right here. The hole is right here. It's almost like a purse. You got the top of the purse, the female purse. Then you got the U part, which is the valley. And everything is stuck in the middle of the purse. That's why Medellin's uh, air is not uh, one of the healthiest in the world. Uh, Chim say thank you, Chim, for your donation. You say, what's the art it seems like it is will come in and easy to get involved involved in uh, art shows, film festivals, galleries. How often do you do you uh, these events happen? There are a lot of events. It's amazing how many black events. I like how you put art shows happen down here. Cali is the art and sports capital. And it's kind of funny. Art, sports, and nature capital of Colombia outside of like the small towns. I'll tell you what I mean by that. First of all, art. It will amaze you how many actors, singers, uh, performers, artists, as far as painting and designing and things like that, uh, people that play instruments are in Cali. Cali is the New Orleans, just to give you an idea, it's the New Orleans of Colombia. I call it Atlanta of Colombia because of the amount of black people that live here that are succeeding. I call it the New Orleans because of the artists and the creators that are down, down here. Also, sports. A lot of people think Medellin is the sports capital of Colombia. Cali is the sports capital of Colombia. All your sporting events from archery to we just had the, 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 the junior Pan Am, Pan Am games here. Remember, we were walking through the mall and we saw like a team of Asian kids. Then it was a team of kids. We heard them and they, they, they were from like, uh, uh, they had like uh, Eastern Europe, like, you can tell. let's see, uh, like Switzerland or Swedish accents. Then we saw some kids, they look like they were from Israel. And so you, you, you see, or Middle East. So when it comes to sports, Cali is the, the capital. Number, number three, Cali is the capital of nature. There are over 1,000 different species of birds in this country alone, I mean, this city alone. People come down here from around the world just for bird watching. So many animals are down here. Uh, I, I was telling somebody this story I saw at the, you know, the grocery store that's right by where we go to the gym. Mm -hmm. They were taking meat out and, and a piece of meat fell. And so you were in the store. I'm outside sitting in the car. I see a little bird fly down, a little, little blue, uh, a little uh, yellow bird, beautiful. Fly down, grab a piece of meat, flew away. Then I saw a pigeon. A few seconds later, a pigeon flew down, grabbed him a piece of that meat, flew away. Then I saw a hawk come flying down. Mm. He didn't land. He just scooped up the piece of meat and he ran. He flew away. And I'm talking about all in a, a two minute span. Then I saw three vultures. You know, their wingspan is like three vultures fly down and they grabbed the rest of the meat and flew off. So there's a lot of nature down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's back to the. To, there's so many comments, you guys. I'm going to continue reading, but we going back for the topic. Okay, number two, cost of living. Yeah, we just got on number two. Here. 
Okay. Number two. All right. The reason why men and women are missing in the United States that are enjoying their passports is because of cost of living. Number two. A lot of people think because of the ladies. We're going to get to that. But the number two reason is because your dollar is worth four times as much. And in Brazil, it's worth five times as much. How is it it could be worth five times as much if people are taking advantage of it? And so don't feel shame. Don't let anybody on YouTube shame you for being wise with your money, with your economics. Realize that that's what it is. The, the cost of living is different here. And we're not saying that quality is different. I want you to remember that. A lot of people are going to sell you on Colombia because it's south, it's, 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 it's a third world. I was looking up Colombia on the, on the uh, economic index yesterday. I didn't even know this. If Colombia was a neighborhood, Colombia would be considered upper middle class. I didn't know that. I'm going to say that again for those of you that live in the States to give you an idea of Colombia. If Colombia was a neighborhood, according to the global index, compared to parts of Africa and compared to many areas in the United States that are some of the best areas, best of the United States and Europe compared to some of the worst of Africa, and you put it in a, in a melting pot of a neighborhood, in neighborhoods of one city, Colombia would be in the upper middle class. So all the stuff that you get in the United States it's already down here waiting for. I don't know why y'all try to act like y'all y'all stores are better than ours when the same products. It just takes a little longer to get. I don't know. It, it's sneakers, for example, or if you got big feet. Obviously, yeah. Amazon delivers down here instead of taking overnight. It takes between uh, seven to ten days. Sometimes, sometimes they, they got their own eBay down here. That it looks just like eBay. So don't sit back and think you missed it. Groupon is down here. It's called Groupon.co. The same Groupon is Groupon.co in Colombia, and it's Groupon.com in the United States. Same products. Mm -hmm. It's a great speak Spanish. Just uh, he ju he just wants to listen. And on the conversation when people are talking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, but I'm so used to it that when I when I'm asked to speak, it's amazing how all of a sudden it just it just comes out. And I'm I'm looking at myself like, wow, okay, all right, all right, Dre. It's a, uh, you guys ever been to DR? Yes, we yes, we spent a month last there. year mm -hmm. in DR. That means those arepas. Uh, oh, let's not talk about how good the food was. Yes. Those arepas in Santo Domingo. Yes. They were delicious. Yes. yes. Our favorite food. We were addicted to them. <laughs> oh. Kiss and Drink is here. Thank you, Kings, for your donation. I just turned Shout out to party. Jay. <laughs> Thank you so That's much. Make sure you guys subscribe to Kings and Dreams channel. Constantly growing, doing great, amazing things at this channel. What has say? I've been hearing that the younger generation in Colombia is becoming less traditional. I heard feminists is growing with the younger woman. Is this true? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Here in Colombia, the way that we have been raised, yeah, raised, uh, there's a new law that you can't uh, touch your baby, at least span that ass, but they do something bad. You can't do that. Oh, not me. I was actually looking, well, I wouldn't do that to Andre anyway, but I was actually looking up um, Colombia is, oh, equal rights for women. I was looking this up yesterday in Colombia mm -hmm. uh, to compare Colombia to other countries. When it comes to equal rights globally, Colombia ranks of 170, 167 countries that have fought for equal rights for women, not all countries, meaning not all 191 countries have fought for equal rights, but those that have are 171, uh, I'm sorry, 167 countries. Of those 167 countries that have fought for the rights of women to have equality, Colombia ranks 22. You would think the United States will rank a lot higher, 
but the United States, as far as equal rights for women, number 17. Yeah, but compare, for example, Colombia and Argentina, or oh, Argentina is another level. Right, right. Yeah. So that's a great that's a great question. I'm glad you brought that topic up uh, because mm -hmm. they're fighting more and more for women in United for Colom in Colombia to have equal rights. But another thing, remember that Colombia is super traditional country, so it's still with the mindset that a family is mom and dad. That's it. In, in, in that's a tra that's traditional. That's we are super traditional in that, and people still super traditional in that. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Nothing against with that, but people still like. Wait a second. Family is mom and dad. That's it. Yeah, you you can't it's sit back, and come here, and try to change it. The other thing is that's still traditional, even though some of the women are changing. Oh, the men still the same. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. The men sit back like, okay, you can be traditional. Uh, can a brother eat? Can a brother get something to eat? Can a brother get, you know, get some, can I get a dance? Can I get some, uh, you know, some, some, uh, you know. Even here, it's another thing. We are super traditional. Then, of course, they, put, they, they add the machismo over there. Because some things, outside of the topic, they say that it's, it's bad when your men have space or day, not day, sorry, or uh, share with his friend and i mean my comment you know you guys uh you know what i think about space but space is really important in the marriage and i made my comment of course your husband needs a space your husband need a time with his friend or family or whatever and you need a time too mm -hmm. but a lot of people especially in Colombia, they don't understand that yeah they think like so you agree that your husband is cheating i'm not saying it's cheating i say it's space because you live together you marry you see you Face every day, you need that that, that brief for yourself. That's so people, they don't, true. No, they, they Colombians, don't Colombian couples, they stay all the time. I'm gonna see my girlfriends. Okay, I'm going with you. Why? I'm going with you. Why are you gonna do something? So they look bad? at us like we're crazy because we yeah. believe in you know. If she go out with her girlfriends, all right. If I go out and hang out with you guys, all right. You guys here in Colombia. Yeah. So when you get ready to start dating somebody in Colombia seriously, realize it's not you. You think it's cute when you first meet her. Mm -hmm. You like, oh, she care about me. She love me. Oh, she all over me. I love it, Bruh, After about a good six to eight months of her being on you like this, everywhere you go, like you guys say, Colombian women are clingy. Yes, they That's are. Mean. Clingy means cling to you like like on your clothes, like something is stuck on your clothes. You can't get it off like lint, like a little something on your clothes, just all over Come you. on. I forgot. I forgot. I right, know you right. Mean. It's just all over you. you like, man, clean this off. That's clingy. Oh, okay. I got you. Yes. Yes. Okay. See, once uh, feminist takes takes root, the country is, is doomed. It's hard doomed. To say. Doomed. Uh, that's why we explain that feminism is is every. If you really want to be honest, feminism is everywhere. The level of feminism is different in different countries because that's why Andrea explained. Don't get it twisted. We're still traditional in a lot of things. Y'all could come with that feminism, but Colombia still believe a man and a woman is family. That's not the truth in the United States. United States thing have a baby and mom is family or lgbtq is family but 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 traditional mom and dad in the united states is not treated that way like we should yeah. treat uh families in the united states but in south america no matter what takes place you got it, your dad and your, your mom or your dad even though your dad yeah. disappear but yeah they call you back and everything yeah wrong, it's this is what it is Thank you for your donation. Salute to you, Andre, and your wife. Love your health or knowledge. Um, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank so you, hard. brother. It's so hard for me to pronounce. German say when beating the shit out of your bad, you badass child. Remember this: only legal if you get caught on camera. <laughs> no, the baby even came no. to. The uh, uh, bienestar familiar mm -hmm. and said, Hey, my mom hit me. And yeah, they come to your house and everything. That's in this time in Colombia that you can correct your kids. Oh no, not for the traditional ones. 
Okay, PlayStation Gamer, thank you for your gems, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Hami is here. What's up? In the I wish I was with you all at the festival. It looked amazing. Those models were gorgeous and it looked super light and fun. I wish we celebrate Black History or June, Juneteenth like, like that. You know what? What I'm going to be dropping the video uh, tomorrow of when we went to the club. We went to a club, an exclusive club, and they were doing nothing but celebrating. Check something. Check the how is the because it that we stay like frozen. We're frozen. No, I don't know, but check it. Check yours because my battery died. Oh my god! Wait a second. Give us a second, guys. We're checking to see if we're. Let us know if are we getting frozen. Okay, give us a. Hey, if we're okay, guys, give us a one. If we're fine, give us a one, Felicia. Everyone else, if we're if we're fine. I oh, know we're good. Okay, we're looking yeah. good. We probably froze at one point in time, but yeah, my battery died. Okay. All right, those commercials. I don't have YouTube Premium. You you actually could if you yeah. We're gonna have to make sure you got it. Okay, we we good. Okay, we're good. Uh, like they are say feminists like equally in the eyes of the love is cool, but when uh, they dictate <clears throat> what family is to everyone should be dictated by one group. I'm out. And feminism defined in the United States is completely different than here. Like in the in here in in the parts of Africa, feminism is giving women opportunities, opening up doors for women in business and politics. It's not, we're with divas. We're the, you see what I'm saying? It's not women. I, I don't see most women down here that are that are feminists act like they do in the United States. We're divas, we're the queens. No. Black girls rock, black, black women. Actually, what I see, what I see, and I say that it could be true, true. Let's say what, what, what we see on TV mm -hmm. in Colombia is more the lesbians, mm -hmm. the feminists, you know, the one to add. That's why I say I'm not going, I'm not fem, feminist, feminista, mm -hmm. and I'm not machista. I'm, I'm neutral in that mm -hmm. point. So don't don't think when you come to Colombia, you're gonna see that 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 divaism. Like she said, usually it's part of the LG feminism is really just a part of the LGBT community, LBGTQ community. <laughs> All the letters they got. I don't know what they I mean. <laughs> That's just it. My dad will say, call the cops and they can take you with them. I, I would do that with my my brother all the That's time. That's me. Oh, what? You want to call the police? Call them. I'm gonna pack your back. For real. What? Oh, you what? Go. That Smell, would be me. Smelling all that good food that Andrea cooking, packing his bags. Mom, don't call your mama. Go pack your bags. Mom, can I eat? Yeah, you can eat when you get to where they take you to. You want a candy bar? <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be it. Oh man. <laughs> Savage. Savage parents. <laughs> Uncle Thank Jeffrey you, in the Jeffrey. building. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. Supporting Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> they don't answer. Okay, I will call you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a process. Colombia is where the US was in the 1960s. I feel bad for the PB bros. Bros. Um, 40 years from now, uh, 40 years. Well, I'll be gone by then. 40 years, I might be around in 40 years. Come to Who think knows? of it, that's why I said you're right, I might be still around in 40 years. we 90 <laughs> and 90, and you would be in your 60s, almost 60 here in the 60s, uh, 50s. 50s if I'm in my 70. 90s, you, you, yeah, you, yeah. You about to crack you you yeah no 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 you older than that 57 and 30, and 30 40 years I am 40 years if not 30 years 60 60 yeah 60 years old 40 years you know you'll be 67 years old stop it going on 70 70 what are you we'll talking about <laughs> We are both. I be really having, can't deal with my body to deal with your body. Are you serious? We're both. We're both being here with one nurse. Okay, <laughs> let's get it real. I won't be the only one with a nurse, guys. Miss Miss Sixty Seven over here. You too tall. To, you heavy. 
I can't remember anyone. You That's why I say we have nurse in here. <laughs> She's talking about talking about. No, I'll be fifty-seven. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I'm glad you asked that question, brother. Good looking out. <laughs> Made that statement. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, let's back to the topic because yeah, I'm gonna be talking here and here. Okay. The next one, the feminine and the fit woman. Number three reason why individuals are missing from the States because you guys are happy going to other countries where there are fit, feminine, and friendly women that will bring you a soup, sandwich, and sex in silence with support. Yes, you guys are saying, like, listen, ladies, United States, you can have you you know how how I'm noticing you men with passports. I'm seeing you like this. You are like when a girlfriend puts you out the house and, and sets your clothes on fire, and initially you care, and now you don't care anymore. Go ahead and burn them. You can burn all them shoes. I can replace them. I'm out of here. I'm not about to deal with you anymore. And that's how men that are using their passports are feeling. You can burn all these clothes. I'm not arguing with you anymore. I'm not about to fight. That's why monk mode is so important. That's why so many women on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok are offended. They're not mad at you for getting your passports. I want to repeat that. They're not mad at you for using your passports. And not all women care that you use your passports in the United States. There's some good women that don't care. But those that do care... They only care because we are ignoring them. That's it. Andre can tell you the number one thing women hate is when you ignore them, when they're talking and you walk away. Women hate that. And that's what we're doing with our passports. We've decided to ignore them. When we go to the States, we ain't opening up more doors. We are any more doors. We are not buying drinks at the club. We're not doing all these little things that we did before. We're not going to get into arguments with them. We're not sleeping with them. We're not pursuing them. We are ignoring them with our passports, and they can't take it. Women love attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Javier Diaz said you will be around eating that Mediterranean diet or in any different yep. country. I already thought about that. We'll be over there too. You heavy, Andre, killing me. Yeah, Andre bones, they're heavy. She said it about my arm. You, you, she said those it about my legs arm, are like, like this. Silly, you, you're heavy. My <laughs> grandpa, when he couldn't walk, he was extremely heavy. So, yeah, that's what I say. Who's that. your grandpa tall? My grandpa was 185. Was he taller than your dad? Yeah. Was he? It was like your height. No, oh, wow. That's why when grandpas, you know, they're heavy. Okay. Very heavy to deal with. Okay. Uh, Chart Explorer is here. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, here. Thank you so much for being Shout here. Charles. Um. Wait a second. Dharma say was super powerful to hear the vice president speak and sing during the Petronio Alvarez. Such amazing vibe to see an Afro-Colombiana in power in tune with the people. Yeah, obviously she has been in Petronio for so many years. But obviously this year she is the vice president. I told you guys it's going to be like big thing because our vice president is black. So, yeah, she was there a couple of times, okay, three times. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they, they, are, they are doing their thing. The other thing is with her singing to the people, it not only showcased that she had been going to Petronio for years since she was a kid, but also remember what I said in other videos on YouTube. It doesn't matter who you are in Colombia as a woman. You can be Congress this, professor that, I'm a doctor this, but when you come home to your family, it's all about the family. Your position, you can't walk into your family like you're a diva like in the United States. They don't care. So when the vice president of the country realized, listen, 
I'm just like my this weekend. This is my family. This is my people. She was celebrating the Afro-Colombian celebration because she knew this is the these are the songs, the language, the food, and everything that I enjoyed years before I was president and after I mean vice president. And after she no longer vice president in four years, she's still going to be coming to that same celebration and enjoying it with her people and her family. In Colombia, like I mentioned before, that divaism that only works for everybody else. But to the family, like girl, if you don't get your ass in there, cook the food for the for your brothers and uncles. Okay, back to the topic. Number four. Number four. Business and property. Business and a lot of guys are missing in the United States because they realize it is far less expensive to buy a business in another country or buy a business online or buy a business uh, uh, directly, um, a brick and mortar out here. I know a few guys that are in, in, in DR, shout out to Flip Flop, who's bought bars and clubs and restaurants in these locations in the, outside the United States, and they don't want to buy another one in the United States. There are people that, that have opened up Airbnbs. They don't want to open up an Airbnb in the United States or rent an apartment out in the United States. So number four reason for individuals that are coming up missing or why we use our passports is because there are so many business opportunities outside of the United States. And it may take some of you guys 10 years to find what that business is going to be for you, but it's waiting here for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Charles say, I'm coming to see you all uh, in a month. All right, Charles, in the building. As I say, yeah, to your email after the show. Okay, cool. Big uh, boss say, uh, let me charge your phone, babe. I'm gonna charge your phone. Oh, cool. Oh, Thanks, babe. Oh, you can tell. You can see my pants. <laughs> she got on shorts. <laughs> Wait a second. There we go. Uh, get the lights off for the royal couple of YouTube. Big boss, real talk in the building. <laughs> we appreciate you, brother. The royal couple. Welcome. I won't say anything. I got that that movie on my head all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, dual citizenship. A lot of individuals, a lot of men are going to be missing in the United States because a lot of you guys are going for dual citizenships in another country. Some of you guys want to have your American citizenship, but you want to be German as well, or you want to be American and Portuguese or American and Brazilian. A lot of you guys are like, you know what? If anything pop off in the United States, I can get up out of there because I have dual citizenship. And the United States can no longer tell me what to do. They could tell me what to do with their passport, but they cannot tell me what to do with my Brazilian passport or Portuguese or, uh, or, or Colombian passport or Panama. So a lot of you guys are realizing COVID taught you, you know what? I need to have two citizenships, at least two. Let's go down to the last one. Hope for the future. Hope for the future. There's a lot of individuals, males and you ladies, that are using your passports because, let's be real, in the United States, you really don't see any hope for the future. You got everybody aiming at everybody and taking everybody's lives. Let's be real. Inflation is out of control. You can't trust the Republicans, the Democrats, and all you got is Bernie Sanders in the middle as an independent by himself. Think about it. The cost of everything has skyrocketed. You can afford to age in the United States. I want to repeat that. You cannot afford to age in the United States. Yeah. You hit 50, you're aging. It's going to cost you. You hit 60 or 70, it's going to cost you to age in the United States. So when we sit back and we try to encourage you, get your passports, take advantage of it. Medical in these other countries, as far as your health and healthy eating, and health care 
is so inexpensive. Why are you still there? Well, my cousin is here or my mama is here. I got you. I got kids here. We understand. But your kids are going to turn 18 and move on with their own lives. So when they get older, you should be ready to be packing your bags. I'm taking care of my mama. I got you. God willing, you outlive your mom. But when you no longer take care of mom or grandma, pack your bags. Be ready to visit these countries and be ready that whatever responsibility you have at home is over. Pack your bags. Get up. Out I'm telling you now. Y'all think I'm, I'm just kidding. I said this in 2018 when I gave the top 10 reasons why you should no longer live in the United States. And one of them, I said, you never know when the emergency is going to come. Get your passport. I said this in 2018-19. I mean, 2019-2020. Everything shut down. And all we kept hearing was, I wish I was in Colombia during, during, during pandemics. I wish I was in Brazil during pandemic. Now, one person said, I wish I was in the United States during a pandemic. We're looking at y'all on the news. We're like, what the heck? What are they doing in the United States? What? What's going on? It was really bad. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. So many of you guys that were planning to visit Colombia or spend time here, you couldn't. We were locked down in the States. It was, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let Andre go through the last few comments. Mm -hmm. uh, remember the reasons why people are, uh, reason why men are missing in the United States are because of these reasons. Uh, that we're talking about reason why men are missing in Europe, men, men are missing in the UK, and men are missing in the United States because we have our passports and we have come up missing. I'm glad to say, I have a question. Did the drug epidemic ruin the Colombian family stru structure like it did in many American families? No. Colombians made money off of y'all dope things. I said it. My mama was one of them. Some of y'all mamas and aunties and daddies was dope fiends. No. So while America, America is the number one country outside of some countries in Europe for the drug use. Everybody else is making profit off of us Americans. We use all the drugs and everybody else is making all the money. Jorge say, uh, we'll be in Colombia in October 18. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's back again. We'll be in Colombia in October for 18 days. <laughs> My okay, 18. I was going to stay in Medellin the whole time, but mm -hmm. not sure that that is a good idea. What do you guys recommend? Oh, for I'm enjoying country or also Christian white hunting. I would, if it were me, part of me, I would take six days Medellin, six days. Um, Cali, six days, Cartagena, and fly back to Medellin on, on my last day, on day two days. Mm -hmm. Because Colombia is, is, the, is the size of Texas in, in, uh, in California combined. But the flights are so inexpensive. You are doing yourself a disservice being in one city. Six days in, in one, five days in another one, and then come back to your last couple of days uh, in, in Medellin, if that was your, your where you started off, I promise you it'll pay off. The other thing that Andre can tell you, no part of Colombia is like the other part. Different. Completely different. The how they speak Spanish, the food, those liquors we just showed you, you can't get them for the most part in Berenquia in Cartagena. No. Santa Marta. But there is food, there are foods and things that you can't get in San, in Cali that you can't get there either. The music is different. The women, the behavior, completely different. So you get a chance to see what location of women that you say, who oh, I like women in bed and kid, and I like the women in Santa Marta, but I didn't feel right about the women in Cartagena that were beach life women. Um, Medellin was cool, but then I went, to, so, so split it up. If flights, round trip flights, $50, $60, $70, $80. You'll find a round trip flight uh, in Colombia for $25 sometime. And every city is only an hour flight away from each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
Like in Haiti with Mary. Thank you, Mary, for being here. Hey, you. They are say, can we also talk about how Colombia has one of the best medical system in the world? Yes, we can. I told that to my grandma. She almost died when I told her. She thought that the state was number one. I don't one know why one. people in South America just think. You guys always sell the same thing to everybody, that you guys are number one in everything. That's a good point. Mm, that's said, why. I don't blame. My, yeah. my grandma was like, yeah. really? Colombian medical system, Medellin has, in South America, it has uh, seven of the top, let me get it right, seven of the top 24 hospitals in all of South America is in Medellin alone. Colombia ranks, I forget what the number, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, what Colombia ranks as far as being at the top 20. No, no, ooh, there we go. I got it. Colombia was was number like 17, 18 medical. Uh, Canada was number 30 for medical health care. The United States is number 37 in the world for health care of 191 countries. That's what it was. You will get better health care and live a longer life and, and also a healthier diet living in colombia not including the rest of south america compared to the united states in the united states as a person of color did you know just by being geographically located in the united states just by geographic i live in the states no matter what country you live city you live in you have a 50 percent more chance of dying of heart failure than most countries in the world Meaning, the moment you leave the United States, you got 50% chance of living a longer life, even if you died of heart failure, compared to being in the United States. Even if you haven't changed your diet yet, mm -hmm. you have a better chance because the stress level will go down and hypertension will not grasp hold of you as fast as it's doing in the United States as a person of color. Okay, thank you so much for your super sticker. Shout out, brother. <laughs> it's a America is good selling in propagandas, and that is why everyone believes the hype. That's so true. Yep, they're propaganda. Yep. All the time. Best place to buy a home or a condo. It depends. It depends on the city. city that you want to live. It mm -hmm. depends the 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 weather. Every city got different weather. So it depends what city you're interested in for. Like this one brother, he just bought a condo in a, in a brand new building, paid 35000 for it in Cartagena. In Cartagena, yes. So if you could take the heat and the beach life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have the best advertising propaganda machine on earth. Yeah. No oh, yeah. Why. I thought the Germans did in, during World War II. No, United States That's got the why best propaganda. When we see homeless people on TV and everything, everybody is surprised that they are homeless in the state. They are poor people in the state. Yes. I'm, I've been trying to find that commercial that they that they have in Europe that they you guys haven't seen this commercial. Many people have it. There is a commercial for the homeless to send money for, for, for people. Listen, they're hungry. They're starving children. They're in need. If you have any extra money, please donate to the children of the United States. In Europe, they're having fundraisers because people in the United States don't realize we rank in the top 20 impoverished countries when it comes to uh, children going hungry on a daily basis. I'm going to repeat that. We are in the top 20 countries for children going hungry in the United States. And just like Sally Struthers had her commercials for South America or Africa, help feed the, the poor in Africa, there are countries in Europe that are having fundraisers to feed the poor in the United States. Yeah. Let's hear say, Americans are the most stressed, stressed population in the world and oh, yeah. highest mental health issues. Oh, yeah. On any development or semi-development country. That's, That's why y'all doing all the drugs. True. That's what my grandma said. It's a full of crazy people out there. 
Yep, that's why y'all doing all the drugs. Because no, and another thing, that's why they got so many shootings and those kids oh, yeah, start shooting shootings, everybody. Yeah. yeah, mental issues. Mental issues. And I forget the percentage of a mental of of uh lack of fatherhood of those that that commit yeah. crimes in the United States. I saw. I, I've been watching a YouTube, you don't know, on Netflix, incarcerator, incarcerated, incarcerated, but girls, uh, mm -hmm. teenagers, girls, girls. Mm -hmm. They all, most of all of them. No Netflix. They say, on Netflix. They say, we, my dad is in prison. My dad has been in prison. My mom is going to prison. All of that. But that's another thing that people, Colombians, uh, Latinos um, in the States too, that you say even uh, under the, that you guys that we family will see your family once a year or you never reunion. see mm -hmm. a family will never talk to your family. That lack of love, is it, it surprised me. Because in, for example, in this country, we are like super close. That's one of the things that sometimes you guys, but but yeah, but you cry for everything or you are super close to your family or your family. So it's because that's part of a culture. That's part of a traditional. That's why here uh, the rank or uh, shootings, my shooting is like, how do you say? Uh, none. Nothing. No, no, nothing. I, I, I haven't heard of a mass shooting since like the 90s mm -hmm. and they were aiming at a particular person not at a crowd yeah but we care a, a, a lot about family about love about be present in 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 the in their uh in the kids life so that that's a huge difference between the u.s okay everybody say in colombia the medical will be definitely better uh they eat natural food most of us suffer from from diabetes or diabetes which comes from eating generally called modified food. That's another thing that I told Andre one day. I say I can't even imagine how it would how will be your health, uh, you because Andre got high blood pressure in the state and he's still living in the states with all those ingredients and everything. Um, yeah, medication. So yeah. So, so it says, say, Brownlee say, America is not a country, it's a, a corporation. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. Okay, wait a second. Private consultation went great. Uh, Joy say, hello to Neil in Trinity. And to all those uh, getting uh, unplugged from the, from the Matrix, Matrix. That's in the right. chat, blessing. I like that, Neo and Trinity. I like that for the movie Matrix. Uh, <laughs> how, do you, how do I become a citizen of Colombia? Okay. For being a citizen in Colombia, you need to be living here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, living here, of course, got your visa. Uh, doesn't matter what type of visa you want to have, migrant or, yeah, migrant visa. Yeah, for working or study or be married with a Colombian, you need to have a hold of visa. Um, for example, Andres visa, because he, he his visa is uh, M, migrant. And he can't apply for a citizen after have two uh, M visas approved. You know, which done. Uh -huh, which is, is done. He can apply for for uh, citizenship um, next year, for mm -hmm. example, because he got that time. And of course, uh, for any time, let's say that you got a contract with a Colombian company, or you started here, or you got different type of visas, but you need to accumulate five years with that visa, and then you apply for your uh, permanent visa, your resident visa. And that uh, allow, allows you to have the Colombian citizenship, uh, your cellula, your Colombian passport. And of course, uh, you need to uh, know Spanish, of course, uh, the national anthem, the history of Colombia, all of that. Go to Bogota and apply for your exam. For That is for get your Colombian citizenship. Okay. Passport. And then you got your cellula and then your you holding that for example dre when he uh becomes a colombia city sign he gonna have his colombian cellula with a longer number different number it's like along with the social security number so he needs to change credit cards he needs to change Everything. driving license I, just yeah. because the number and yeah all of that Obviously, if for example if we get a house with his cellula with his uh phone or cellula that he's 
actually having right now, when he became a Columbus City sign, we need to change that Everything. to say now with different cedula because yeah, cedula here is like social security. It's so is, is your ID. 100%. And if I get caught driving with my <laughs> old cellular ID, now guys, remember, cellular is your regular state ID mm -hmm. and your social security card combined. combined. So theirs is one instead of ours mm -hmm. being two. Uh -huh. And if I get caught with my old one, which only has like eight, six digits, because I, I have a foreigner visa. If I get caught driving with my old cellular ID mm -hmm. and my old driver's license, which I have now, and I become a citizen, I don't get the new one, I can get a ticket and the car can be towed. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's that is a process here in, in Colombia. Other yeah. years, like I heard that Argentina need to spend 10 years living in Argentina to, wow. be, to become a citizen. I think uh, it was Sweden, I think. Sweden, mm -hmm. I, 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 my, my, my apology if I said, I, I always confuse Switzerland or Sweden. Mm -hmm. Uh, you need to spend 12 years living as a resident to apply for um I think citizen. so, because Tina Turner, the singer, she had to spend a long time in Switzerland before she got her Swiss citizenship. Exactly. In the States, it's five years, of course. Normally, five years. People take 20 years mm -hmm. to get citizen. We can see the sign in the States. And also, guys, for you guys and, and ladies that are thinking about, uh, I don't know if I, I forgot if I mentioned this tonight, that are thinking about uh, becoming Colombian uh, uh, citizens as far as getting your visa, your regular visa, and then you got your six-month visa for an extension. Colombia right now is working on its digital nomad visa. For those of you that work for an online company and you want to live in Colombia, they're going to set up to where if you make $800 a month, you can prove that uh -huh. they are working on the digital nomad visa that Brazil has. So that's it's going to take a minute. But that's the thing with the, with the nomad, nomad visa. I don't know how the country is going to do that the, because I'm always talking about taxes. Mm -hmm. But in some way, so how they're going to tax us. Exactly. They're going to cross all the info to make you pay taxes. True. Because if you're making money online, okay, we need to see that money in your uh, bank Colombia account. bank account. So they, they need to find that way to <laughs> cross that info. That's why it's taking so mm -hmm. long because they know that we get a, Colombia and United States has a setup where you can't do, you can't be double taxed. Mm -hmm. So if they tax you in the States, Colombia knows they can't tax you uh, uh, no. uh, as a Colum being in Colombia. So they're like, okay, how can we get some of that money that, that he's paying his taxes at home in the States, but how can we get some of that money? Because we can't double tax a person. So whatever you, let's say you pay $5,000 for the year in taxes in the States. I'm just saying that in general. Colombia is like, well, we can't charge them $5,000. So how do we get some of this money? And how do we do this? So that's what they're working on in regards to the, exactly. the digital nomad uh, visa. But it's coming closer and closer, guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year they don't have it officially approved because they're, they're starting to put out news yeah. headlines about it now. That, that's the part with, with, the, with the taxes part that they want to get some of that. Oh, my God, yeah. Is that the IRS? The La Dian. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's, it's IRS, like in the States. Mm -hmm. it's yep. the same thing. I just say, full interest get you sick in the pharma bros keep your addicted. The entertainment uh, department, yeah, the department keeps you blind and um, true. Yeah, okay. true. That's so true, brother. Okay, wait a second. Let's see. The, let's read the last one coming. I would definitely make it more than a hundred a month. Okay. Okay, I think that was the last one. That's what Felicia, that's the last one. Okay, if you don't see anything else. No. There we go. All right, live stream Queen Felicia taking us out tonight. Yeah. You have, oh, well, you guys, thank you so much for being here. One hour, 45 minutes, almost. Mm -hmm. Great questions. Great questions, great information that uh, we give it to you guys. Um, ladies and gentlemen, all the info 
about Colombia and yeah. Oh yeah. All the update. So all of us missing men, missing women mm -hmm. with our passports. That's why we're missing from the States because some of the reasons that we talked about tonight, we want to say thank you guys for being here. Mayana, Andrea is doing her live stream tomorrow night. So be ready for that. Mm -hmm. Then you got Friday night drinking hand with your boy. We're going to talk. And my man, Aaron from Black Men's Travel is going to be the special guest hanging out with me, drink with me. So y'all go see me and Aaron together on Black from Black Men's Travel. We're going to be together this Friday and we're going to be discussing some things, the myths about women in Colombia. The, the things that you guys keep hearing from these other YouTubers and other, these other platforms, me and Aaron going to tell you the truth about Colombian women and dating here in Colombia. We'll get the breakdown this Friday. Yeah. Thank you guys for your time, comments, questions, of course, and donations. Thank you, brothers. Kevin said, love you guys. Definitely trying to go to the DR next year. Oh, man, you'll love it. You, you will love it. You will love it. Yeah, areas. thank you. So, the areas. <laughs> uh, Char John, I, th I think I'm going to be missing for a couple days for my birthday. Shout out 25. Okay. Charles going on 25 again. I ain't mad at you, baby. Shout out. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here, and we'll see you the next live stream. All right, guys. Once again, my name is Andre. My name is Andrea. And we are Love, Love Crossing. Crossing.